Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we will talk about Martin White, another key figure of the English School of International Relations. A British international relations scholar who lived during the 20th century, Martin White has been a highly influential figure on shaping the IR school, what we know as English School. In addition to his own unique academic identity, he is also known as one of the greatest influences on Hedley Bull's understanding of world politics even after his death in 1972. Hedley Bull describes Martin White as a perfectionist who have always valued thoughts over publication volumes. His understanding and interpretation of the theory of international relations, or his own terms international theory, mainly focused on the debate between three distinctive groups of thinkers, the Machiavellians or realists, the Grotians or rationalists, and the Kantians or revolutionists. According to White, all these groups had their own description of the nature of the world politics and specific ways that the men should accustom themselves to. Machiavellians like Hobbes, Hegel and Morgenthau saw the world as a state of anarchy where every state pursued its own interest while leaving no room for morale. Russians like Locke, Roosevelt and Churchill, on the other hand, saw the anarchical world with full of cooperation opportunities. In their world, states were not free of moral restraints, instead certain rules were being imposed by the international society. Lastly, Kantians did not agree with Machiavellians and Grotians. They suggested that the world politic is not about the relations between states, but relations between human beings, the mankind as a whole. Having a deeper understanding like this, Kantians saw the global morality as imperatives that made mankind to contribute to the humanity rather than as rules that are requested from states to follow to be good members of the international order. After providing explanations for each of the three schools of thought, Martin White moved on to arguing that having only three theories are not enough for understanding what is going on in the world politics. We needed different points of view, we needed a mixture of these existing views and use them as paradigms without taking them too seriously. Trying to understand the world through only one perspective provided by one of the three traditional IR schools simply would not work. With the title of his most famous article, Why is there no international theory? Martin White simply tried to tell the IR students that it is not possible to find how the IR thought has been shaped throughout the time with 100% certainty in any easy to access form. With this article, in a way, White advised and encouraged the IR students to gather every little piece of information about the history of thought and make a meaningful whole out of them. So that brings us to the end of this extremely short video about Martin White. We would like to continue with Barry Buzan as another prominent scholar of the English school, but before that we'll need to first introduce the Copenhagen school, since Buzan is also a key figure of that international relations school of thought. So this video will conclude our series of English school and we will continue with Copenhagen school in our upcoming videos. If you like this video, please do not forget to like it and for our upcoming videos, please subscribe to our channel. Thank you very much for watching. We'll see you next time.